boy oh boy do we have some fun off-season NHL drama. So a couple of days ago Frank Saravelli reported that John Gibson, of course goaltender for the Anaheim Ducks, had asked for a trade and stated I'm not playing another game for the Ducks. I gotta admit when I heard his report I didn't really question it. Obviously I have no insight into what that locker room is like but I can understand why someone might not want to play in Anaheim. They're in a full rebuild. I don't really think they're going to improve significantly next year. And if you look at goalie who have faced the most shot attempts in games he's there four times in the top 15 with all those games seeing him face over 50 shots put another way he had the third highest shot seen out of any goalie in the NHL and he only played 53 games compared to Saros and Halibuck who were ahead of him but played 64 however a bit of doubt started creeping into Saravelli's reporting on one of my favorite podcasts 32 Thoughts Elliot Friedman who typically doesn't openly contradict other insiders said he had heard nothing Nothing about Gibson refusing to play for the Ducks. Then we saw a pretty drastic step taken by Gibson and his agency, KO Sports, who stated, and I quote, that the statement is false, unjust, and inflammatory. Frank Saravelli did not reach out to the player nor myself to fact check the accuracy of this comment. And that's from his agent, Kurt Overhart. Now, the way I read this is Frank was probably partially right, partially wrong. I doubt Gibson said openly that he would not play another game for the Ducks. But notice that the agent's release talks about how he's honored to be a part of the team and a committed supporter of the fan base in the community. It doesn't say that he's committed to playing for the Ducks. And Frank himself did hit back by saying, hey, Kurt, do you remember the last time you attempted to claim my reporting was false? All the best. And there he cited an example where he had a scoop that KO Sports denied and turned out to be true regarding one of their agents leaving to work for the Coyotes. I don't know. A lot of people are jumping on Frank Saravelli for this, but the agency putting a statement I don't think is indicative of the truth one way or the other certainly not regarding the requested trade a lot of people straight up don't like Frank Saravelli more than I realized to be honest like I saw this quote unless Saravelli has confirmation that he reached out he should be fired for going with that story without confirmation that is career ending like are you new at this this is what sports insiders do any insider really they get a story they assess credibility and then they make a statement either with qualifiers or not now now, maybe it would have been best practice to reach out to Gibson in this case because it does make him look like a bit of a diva what he allegedly said but I don't know I feel like a lot of people will decide how they come down on this story based on how they feel about Frank Saravelli I think there's probably a mixture of truths going on here just my opinion though let me know yours down below